Sports welcomes you to the campus of the University of Alabama in Tuscaloosa, not far from the Denny Chimes. We'll find out for whom the bell tolls today at Bryant Denny Stadium, where the 12 national championships for Alabama are a distant memory. The 97 squad has been a major disappointment, but today Alabama hosts a crucial Southeastern Conference game against the 12th ranked Tigers of LSU. Here comes Alabama with a record of four and four off a disappointing homecoming loss last week against Louisiana Tech. Lewis Williams, a true freshman, makes the start at tackle today for the injured Trey Langley. On second down, Clock trying to bounce it outside to the left. And he breaks the tackle and has a first down. Lewis scored just three points in the last two meetings combined between the two. The pass incomplete. Intended for Abram Booty, it went through his hands. Two tight ends in the game now for Alabama. Sean Draper, number 38, is into the ball game, and he goes in motion from the wing position. Alexander on third and one has the first down out across the 25-yard line. Pitchens under pressure and thrown down by Chuck Wiley. Back at the 19-yard line. First and 10 for LSU from its own 21 after the penalty on the punt. Swing pass to Fogg. He demonstrates his elusiveness as once again, Deshae Townsend couldn't make the tackle. Fogg getting a breather at the moment, and Rondell Mealy steps in, and there isn't much drop-off at tailback when Mealy is in the game. He's ahead for the first down. Pickett comes out of the passing situation, and... Tyler moved into the shotgun on third down and six. He throws a bullet for a first down. Larry Foster, their leading receiver. <laughs> on first and ten, Tyler on target again, this time to Abram Booty. And he was tackled by Fernando Bryant. Chris Gardner wide left. Second missed opportunity in four games. He also missed against Northwestern. Purdue wins. Back to Sean and Terry. Wow. Wow. And as Michigan State on the slide, that's a couple of games they've had a chance to win late against Northwestern and Purdue, but they haven't been able to kick the field goal to win them in the final seconds. Tyler with the blitz coming, throws it deep, looking for Foster, and it's incomplete. And all they'll add about 13,000 seats to the 70,000 seat stadium. Now Witten. Aiming for inside the five and that's about as well as it can be done now you know why they have Witten Witten also a, an outfielder on LSU's baseball team I mentioned he was part of their national championship squad they won back-to-back -back national titles in baseball Curtis Alexander just did get out of the end zone back to the one and that's all short yardage formation third and a short two and Neely hit behind the line of scrimmage and down for a loss Kelvin Sigler. That was a blocking error in the design of the LSU offensive attack. With again, the pooch punter. We still have not seen Chad Kessler, who's the leading punter in the nation. Look at this one. Out of bounds at the two. This qualifies as great field position. And the snap was lost by Lance Tucker. The ball is in the end zone. And it is a touchdown for LSU. Chuck Wiley picked up the free football in the end zone. Every game on the third series for Alabama, they bring in Lance Tucker for one series to play quarterback. It doesn't matter what the score is, what the field position is. We're going to go with him, and you live and die with the sword. That's just the way it goes sometimes. Tough spot to put him into, though. Fernando Bryant returning the kickoff of Danny Boyd, and finally good field position for the Tide out near the 40-yard line. Trying to change the pace on LSU's defense. It's a very effective weapon to get, get into a game with. They used it effectively this season. Alexander tackled by Charles Smith with Riddle the lead blocker. A blocker. It's a first down for Alabama. The Tide faces third down and five. First play of the second quarter, Lance Tucker. Dumps it over the middle, incomplete. Through the hands of Dennis Riddle. You know, he's liable to go for it uh, on fourth down, which is which is exactly what he's going to do. Lined up in punt formation and moved under center. Movement along the line, and it looks like they were trying to draw the defense offside and succeeded, because as soon as Johnny Mitchell moved, the ball was snapped by Hogan. 
but they call it on Alabama. They say they didn't break the, the plane of the ball and got back in time, and that's a judgment call. You train your center. Kevin Falk back in action now for LSU. Tyler going deep after Alabama turned it over on downs. The man is open, and it's caught by Abram Booty inside the 10. And LSU is in business after the 46-yard pass play. Tyler to Booty. There's Falk running very well into the end zone for a touchdown. The ball came out after he broke the plane. And LSU has its first offensive touchdown against Alabama in three years. On second down and four. Bama from its own 42. Little through a nice seam. Has the first down. That's a gain of eight out to the 50-yard line. Once again, Joe Wesley made the tackle. But he hasn't played as much, but he is a back who can control the game. And he's in control of the ball with some running room down the near sideline. Out of bounds inside the 15. Joe Wesley made the tackle. Alabama's not been very good in the scoring zone this year. They've not been a good team. This is an area they feel like they really need to improve in. Three wide receivers. Kitchens going to the end zone. Incomplete. A little bit too long for Calvin Hall. He has a chance to be open. The ball, as you mentioned, Sean, is just slightly overthrown. Rayon Hill, number 21, with pretty good coverage, but he was vulnerable there. Ryan Cunningham hooks it wide. My goodness. From 29 yards. And I think you get it to a point as a head coach where you really have to consider changing kickers. At some point in time, you can't let your kicker take away the momentum of your football team. Kevin Falk, the ball carrier. From the 32-yard line, first and 10. Play action fake. Kitchen. Rose caught by Quincy Jackson. He can really run. He's across midfield and out of bounds at the 46-yard line. Second and seven. Tied on the move. Another play action pass. Kitchen throws toward the end zone incomplete. He was looking for Shamari Buchanan. Lance Tucker into the game. He's going to act as the pooch punter. Line drive, punt. Bobble, that's a free ball recovered by Alabama. You don't want to turn it over down here, whatever you do. Three wide receivers into the game. Kitchens into the end zone, and it is incomplete. He's out of bounds. The official, the side judge, right on the spot. Excellent officiating. Cunningham's kick is blocked. He missed from 29 earlier. Alabama could not capitalize on the muff punt. And thrown for loss is Kevin Falk. Kenny Smith and Travis Carroll made the tackle for Alabama. Second down, 13. Running room this time for Falk. He gives the stiff arm to Fernando Bryan, and he's still going out near midfield, all the way to the 47. Third down and seven. Blitz from Spencer, and Tyler goes down back of the 36. First sack for Alabama today. Luke Rockney rounding up the five. Where is our man, Terry Donahue? Well, I would I I should have been on the list if Andrea Donahue could have voted. Dennis Riddle runs for a first down. Bruce Arian said that's part of the problem for Kitchens in those short passes. Sometimes he does tend to put a bit too much on the ball. On third, down, and six out of the gun. Chad Goss across the middle, and he's down at the 43. It'll be very close to a first down. From here, it appears to be a first down. The guy is a warrior. He is tough. Maybe as tough as any quarterback around because he takes some hellacious hits, and against Tennessee, he was brutalized in the pocket but hung in there and came back and kept playing. And the pass is incomplete. Seems they'll be content to go to the locker room with the 14 to nothing lead. That's the end of the first half. The score LSU 14 and Alabama nothing. Jim Nance, Craig James, and Lou Holtz will be along with College Football Today's halftime report right after this word from your local station. And we saw coaching mistakes and mistakes made by the players in the first half. Curtis Alexander. First down and more, out of bounds across the 35. 
but he does have great speed and vision. He gets the ball again on third and three and got nowhere near the first down yardage. Herb Tyler, six out of nine in the first half. For 100 yards. Kevin Falk opens the habit tailback, takes the pitch. And he was tackled by Trevis Smith. with one second on the play clock. It's caught near flat. Alexander doing a dance, has the first down. Across the 50 to the LSU 49. Joe Wesley made the tackle. Third down and two at the 41 of LSU. Under eight minutes remaining third quarter. Alexander ahead for the first down. They're letting their defense stay off the field. They're eating up the clock. They need to convert on this drive, though, and score. And it's Riddle back in at tailback. The big went to him. What a catch! The tight end, Ron Rutledge, with a terrific catch. Tenth play of the drive for Alabama. Kitchens took the snap with one second on the play clock. Hit as he threw, and it is incomplete. Intended for Arvin Richard out of the backfield. The pass was short. They had a bizarre fourth down play earlier when they took a knee thinking that LSU was offside. The Tigers were not. Bama turned it over on downs. With the blitz coming, the pass caught, but no gain on the play. A lot of chances, a couple of missed field goals, a couple of problems on fourth down plays. The fumble on their own one-yard line that rolled into the end zone was covered by LSU. Now it's Tyler on the keeper showing his running ability. Out across the 30 and out to the 33-yard line. Kendall Cleveland in the backfield now. And a flag down. It looked like they had illegal motion, and the pass is incomplete. Arvin Richard waiting for the punt from Chad Kessler. LSU leads 14 to nothing. Four and a half minutes remaining in the third quarter. Oh, Kessler killed another one and got a bounce. And it's down by LSU near the five-yard line. 14 to nothing with three minutes remaining in the third quarter here in Tuscaloosa. Third down, Kitchens running. Kitchens dives ahead for the first down. Sissom lined up in front of Alexander. Curtis rips through. And that's a gain of 15 more out to the 31-yard line. They can play like this about through the third quarter, but then things are going to change unless they can score on this drive. Dennis Riddle is dropped for a loss by Chuck Wiley. Daniel Pope hunting it away to Kevin Falk. Falk caught it at the 33. They're setting up some blocks along the near sideline. Falk danced along the sideline and went out of bounds. First play of the fourth quarter, and it's third down and five for LSU near midfield. Tyler with the blitz coming, throws incomplete behind Abram Booty. Ohio State and Michigan loom so big now. Let's go back to Alabama. Indeed it does. Kitchens as his pass dropped. Alabama hasn't lost down in Baton Rouge since 1969. 13-0-1 in Death Valley since. Hawk dragging Kelvin Sigler with them. And Kevin Falk has a first down. Big play in this game remains. The fumbled snap by Lance Tucker, recovered in the end zone by Chuck Wiley of LSU. Third down and eight. Falk running through a blitz. First down in the Bama territory. He went down to the 41-yard line, a pickup of 12. He has 99 yards as he takes the pitch. Now he's over 100. And he's down to the 30-yard line. You know, they've held the LSU rushing game under control, but they just haven't generated enough offense. Rondell Mealy picking up where Falk left off. That's 15 on the ground for Mealy. Third down and eight. They're in field goal range, but LSU has had a tough time with field goals of late. Tyler still on his feet. Touchdown, Tigers! <laughs> And Herb Tyler broke two tackles on the way to the end zone. And the extra point try hit the upright. So these two teams continue to have their kicking walls, although that's the first extra point missed by Wade Ritchie this season. 
McFarland, the most talented defensive lineman in the program. Kitchens nearly scrambled back into the end zone. And now he's sacked back at the seven-yard line by Charles Smith. Over 100 again this week. Bought, hit, and driven down. Very close to the first down marker at the 45-yard line. Chris Edwards, third team middle linebacker, seeing some action, a junior from Bessemer, Alabama, number 59. Mississippi State might be in the driver's seat. That's the way it looks to me. Kitchen throws and a good throw. And a catch by Calvin Hall, the junior from Gallatin, Tennessee. This is excellent mechanics by him. And they have success in this sugar offense, as they call it. Low throw, but the catch still made by Shamari Buchanan. LSU playing very passive defense right now with a chance for the shutout. Kitchens lost the football, and there's nothing passive about that play. LSU has recovered. Johnny Mitchell knocked the ball free. And the ball's finally knocked loose by 95, Johnny Mitchell. Falk. Look out. Kevin Falk. Touchdown, LSU. 53 yards on the run by Falk. And they have a new quarterback into the ball game. John David Phillips. And he is greeted rather rudely. I've never watched the game, and I'm looking forward to that with you, Sean. Tremendous atmosphere there. Mealy. Struggles, and he looks to be short of the first down. Chad recently named the 1997 National Scholar Athlete by the National Football Foundation and College Hall of Fame. And he's running with the ball, and he'll pick up the first down out at the 48-yard line. National Scholar Athlete Award and grant from the College Football Hall of Fame, National Football Foundation. Chad's going to receive an $18,000 base scholarship for postgraduate study, so congratulations to him. That's a very prestigious honor. Right now, Jerry DiNardo, he's got it going at LSU. Alabama shut out for the first time in 82 games, for the first time since 1991. They've lost three home games in this stadium in a season for the first time in stadium history. And Jerry DiNardo has his first win as a head coach against Alabama. This is seventh try. He's standing by with Michelle. 